high-powered laser weapon trial for the first time on a British Army vehicle. For the first time, scientists and engineers have successfully fired a high-powered laser energy weapon from a British Army combat vehicle. This groundbreaking test, conducted at DSTO's range in Porton Down, saw the laser weapon neutralize targets such as enemy drones at distances in excess of one kilometer. The low-cost high-energy laser weapon mounted onto a British Army Wolfhound armored vehicle is fully portable and easy to operate. The system can track multiple targets and engage faster than the speed of light. It represents a major leap forward in the UK Ministry of Defense's land laser directed energy weapon, Would You Demonstrator Program, providing increased operational advantage on the battlefield. Team HERSA, which pairs D and SAS acquisition skills with DSTL's technical expertise, has developed the laser in collaboration with a consortium of UK suppliers. The integration of the Advanced Capability Demonstrator on the Wolfhound will allow the Ministry of Defense along with the British Army to understand the utility of LDU systems against an evolving threat. The next phase of testing will involve trials with Army personnel later this year, further evaluating the system's capabilities and benefits in real-world scenarios. The laser system operates with a command and control system and can be integrated with wider battle management radar and surveillance systems. The weapon can be mounted on various platforms to meet different operational needs. The British supply chain includes Raytheon UK, Fraser Nash, NP Aerospace, Lumoptica, Blighter Surveillance Systems, and Cambridge Pixel. In successfully firing the first laser weapon integrated on a land vehicle in the UK, DSTL has proven that the Raytheon High Energy Laser Weapon System can track, engage, and defeat targets whilst mounted on a vehicle. We now look forward to the British Army experimenting with the weapon over the coming months and proving that the technology is battlefield ready, said James Gray. Chief Executive and Managing Director of Raytheon UK. The collaboration between DNS, DSDL, industry, academia and international allies is addressing some of the most complex issues facing UK defense and underscores a commitment to the UK Ministry of Defense's by leveraging cutting-edge technology to maintain the strategic advantage in defense operations.